Hello again, everyone. Welcome back to Dark Queen of Kryn. Alright, we're done here. We've got our uh, flail plus four that we'll need to identify later. And, uh, just gonna... Oh, joy. Piercers again. Screw you guys. Keep going this way. Huge boring beetles burst through the wall. They spot you and attack immediately. Oh, funsies. Well, you know what? Screw you. How many points do they have? 23. Oh, yeah. Fireball should take them out, no problem. Yep. Even if they save. Mmm. <laughs> uh, who wants some protein? No one? No one? Didn't think so. Only 347 experience points. Yeah, that one wasn't exactly a challenge. Uh, to the south are purple worms. Well, I guess we'll go fight them. Stumble onto a lair of purple worms. They attack! Oh, joys. Oh, joys! This, I think, does call for a delayed blast fireball. Boom! Whee! More protein! S still, still no? No? Alright. Oh no, they're moving! Quick! Ah! So used to hitting N. Whee! Ah, oh, so much fun. I'm a little disappointed it didn't do more damage, but oh well. Oh! Way to go, Dan Danor. Bam. Keep attacking that one. Can we get to any of them? Yes, we can. Good. Done guard. Oh, nice. Fantastic. Found treasure. Just money, though. A little bit disappointed by that. I mean, I really don't need money in this game at all. You hear a woman's scream coming from the south. Okay. I guess we'll want to head south. Um... If you head north, and I might go back and do that, I don't know, I haven't decided yet. It's just a lot of spiders to the north, basically. To the south, piercers! And piercers! Oh, I hate you, game. Actually, it was kind of funny because, uh, um... Not too long after playing this part of the game, I, uh... Went to an, uh, a gaming session with some friends in uh, junior high. They we're going through a cave, and my first instinct is, Guys, watch the ceiling, there might be piercers. And the DM is like, How? You don't know that! I'm like, I can't help it, I just played Dark Queen of Kryn. <laughs> uh, yeah, because th then, of course, piercers fell on us. And, yeah. Yep. Yep. This chamber is filled with beholders. They float toward you menacingly. Oh, come on. Holy crap. Well, at least there's only two of them. But there shouldn't be any on Kryn. There really shouldn't be.
good. Fantastic. I love this. Oh, I love being high level. Oh, boo. Damn it. Damn it. Damn it. Alright, almost down. Yes! Killed by a hoopback. Yes! Alright! Oh, none of the uh, horrendous stuff worked. Oh, thank God. No, we're not going to continue battle. Yes, Beholders! Yep. Beholders. First, pl first part of the game. First part of the game, and they sick Beholders on you. What was that? Remains of slain Beholders litter, litter the chamber. Well, maybe that's what she was screaming about then. All right, so we have a choice of going either east or south. Well, let's go south. Yeah, water slowly drips from the ceiling. Thank you for telling me that. Umber hulks loom out of the darkness. They lunge toward you. At least they don't have any Miyogi with them. Go with uh, another delayed blast fireball again. Oh, it's so nice to have so many of these. Whee! Oh, and you can use the uh, mouse to move as well. See? I don't know why you'd want to, but you can. Yeah, I much prefer the. Oh, that was more than I was expecting. I much prefer these Umber Hulk icons to the uh, Umber Hulks from uh, um, Treasures of the Savage Frontier, which kind of look cartoony. I mean, I don't really like the the fact that these guys are full profile, but uh, they they do look a bit more menacing. I think. I will remember. I swear. I swear. See, and then you can. You left click to uh, target. Ah, oh, so much fun. But no treasure. You gag on the... what? You gag on the pungent reek of charred carrion. The passageway ahead the passage ahead is choked with the scorched remains of what used to be umber hulks. You can barely squeeze by if you hold your breath. Hear a woman shout, Get back! Get back! I warn you! You won't take me alive! Captain Danor peers ahead. Chrissia, is that you? Uh, did it sound like Chrissia? An old woman steps forward, wearing a cheap, gaudy necklace and waving a wand. She tells you her story. This is recorded as Journal Entry 57. Hmm, where is 57? The Rescue. The old woman's eyes light up. You aren't monsters, you're people. Oh, thank Paladine. I escaped, the mo I escaped from the monsters yesterday and fled into these lower caves, hoping to find a way out. But the Draconians pale in comparison to the monsters that fill the these caverns, and I was afraid to go further. I found this wand and necklace on a body I stumbled upon. Wow, really? How did you know the command word to use the wand? With them, I was able to send many of these foul creatures back to the abyss. The Draconians are no longer a threat. I'm sure I can find my way to the mouth of the cave. There's a small village not far from here, and I can take refuge there. Farewell, my friends. She turns to leave, but then adds, Oh, here, why don't you take this? She removes the, removes the necklace and hands it to you. You certainly look like you can handle yourselves, but you may be able to use this. Woohoo! This necklace might look cheap. But it can be real useful. Alright. That's a necklace of missiles. 
Mm, party gains experience. Fantastic. Monsters attack! Oh, joy. That's a lot of them, too. Well, we know what that means. Mmm. Roasted Umber Hulk. So tasty. Don't save, don't save. Good. Good. Fantastic. <laughs> ah, fun. Let's fix. Can we rest? Get our fireballs back? Thank you. Yes, I know that the freshly killed Umber Hulks were there because I killed them. Oops. That's what I want. Okay. Alright, now let's go this way. And we'll go up here. And let's take a detour this way to go fight those spiders and stuff. Huge boring beetles burst through the wall. They spot you and attack immediately. Oh joys, boring beetles. So boring. Six. Maybe you can take it out? Apparently not. Uh. Uh. Woohoo! Uh. Yay, two attacks. Fun times. Only 347 experience points. You find the burnt carcass of a newly slain spider. Chrissy must have passed this way. How would you know? Where exactly am I? Ah, right there. Okay. An old man is huddled in in the corner, clutching his side. Senselan! Danor rushes to the man's side and kneels by him. You record their conversation as Journal Entry 39. Oh no, another one of Danor's friends dying. Senselan's final words. Choking back tears, Danor cradles the old man's head. Senselan, my old friend, it's all right now. It's almost over. Soon you'll be back in at the town. Danor, for it gives me great pleasure to see your face again, but it is too late for me. I only have a few minutes left. Otif and, and I tried to escape, but we became lost in the labyrinth. I pray that he has made it to freedom. Danor, have you found Chrysia? The captain bows his head with, in grief. Yes, we have found her. She is with them. Senselin clutches his hand. Danor, Chrysia is caught in a powerful charm spell. She will flee from you and fight on the side of evil. The old man begins to cough violently. He wipes the blood from his lips and continues. When you find her, you must break the spell, or she will be lost forever. The old man begins to cough again, and then he is still. His head slumps against Danor's chest. The captain begins to sob quietly. Aww. Buck up, friend. Let's get going. Captain Danor gently lays the old man's head on, on the ground. Come, we must find my sister, he says, wiping tear, wiping the tears from his eyes. If you say so. Giant spiders descend from the ceiling around you. They attack! Woohoo! More experience! What are we actually fighting against? Enormous spiders and whisper spiders. And whisper... Oh, crap. Well, that's going to be a fireball. 
I believe Whisper Spiders are uh, um, unique to Kryn. They got a lot of hit points. More hit points than the uh, enormous spiders, that's for sure. Now well, let's do some incinerating. Yes, keep missing, please. That, that doesn't go for us. Oh, good. Unaffected. Yeah, we don't want to be poisoned here, please, people. See what's, what she's carrying that's weighing her down so much, other than the darts. Uh. It's probably money. Oh no, there's no treasure. A huge spider web hangs here. The withered carcass of a draconian clings to it, its empty eye sockets staring at you. Ah, good riddance. Good riddance. Spiders descend upon you from above. Maybe we'll go with another fireball. And another fireball. Two fireballs. That's good. Um, spiders? Spiders? Oh, crap. They're behind me. God damn it. Yeah, I'll go with that one right there. I should probably should have gone down a diagonal. Yeah, that's good. Mmm. Roasted spider. So tasty. Ah, uh, uh. oh, crap. How dare you? Target that one. Might be able to kill it. Well, okay. Or maybe not. Uh, How dare you kill my Kender? Uh, I shall kill uh, you instead. Oh, uh, not with that weapon. Well, let's see what's on there. Spell magic, globe of invulnerability, mass charm. Nothing all that great. Nothing all that great. Got Olin's quarter staff though. Uh, Let's kill it. Kill it dead. Uh, uh, kill those dead. Uh, and that one dead. Nope. We fix. Yay, detoxified. Let's go ahead and rest. Floor is strewn with dead spiders. <laughs> Oh, uh, it's so much fun to kill him. All right, let's go back the way we came. I just wanted to get some extra experience and kill the spiders. Because I could. All right, now we'll head north here. Go south here. Monsters attack! And this is probably going to be more um, oat yugs and umber, I mean, uh, shambling mounts. No, it's just uh, oat yugs. Whee! Uh. Greater oat yug goes down and is dying. Now. 
guys are not nice here, you know yeah. that? I think you should all just die. Just be nice and die. Uh. Just like that. See? He was nice and died. Uh. As was he. Okay, we found treasure. Nothing all that great. That's oh ooh. Let me pause it while I take care of these guys. Okay. Took care of them. Oh look! Oh you have lumber toward you, slobbering and drooling. Gee. Oh yugs. Thanks. So much fun. That is indeed a lot of them. Let's go... Eh, we can take out the one in front of us pretty easily. Oh, ha, 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 ha. One hit point left on so many of them. <sighs> game, game. Well, I guess we'll go with another one. Whee! Almost, almost ashamed at how much damage I do with those things. Don't miss. Thank you. Whoops. No. Well, this is a... The, 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 fine. Alright, do we have any scrolls with anything good? No. 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 Oh, do we have nothing with, like, Kona of Cold? Apparently not. No cones of cold here. Well, in that case, move down there. There we go. How about you? What do you have? Oh, look, cone of cold. Perfect. Oh, and then he moves. That jerk. Guess I'll go with Ice Storm. There is another one down there, though. Whee! What? She was casting Kona Cold. What? Oh, did that other one... <sighs> Must have made her lose that spell. Fine, just go with an ice storm. I hate you, Shambling Mounds. I hate you. I hate you so much. There we go. Continue battle new. No. Eighteen thousand experience points. Jeez. You find a piece of vaguely. You find a pile of vaguely human bones, picked clean. Hmm. Pleasant. Can we rest? Can we? Come on! Come on! Come on! Come on! Yes. Okay. Exit to Dawson. No. So we're all the way down there don't think that there's anything farther down, so I'm gonna just head back this way. The crow speaks up. There are small human footprints here. I think the girl recently passed by here heading north. It could be. What? I don't know, 
blood and blood oozes or blood and ooze or something like that. I don't know. A gust of ozone-laden air washes over you from ahead, bringing with it the rustle of wings and the clatter of heavy claws upon stone. Oh, well, that's kind of indicative of what we're going to be fighting, isn't it? Hmm. Well, what do we do about that, people? What do we do about that? If you said haste, you'd be correct. Chrysia stands at the northern edge of the chamber. A blue dragon rumbles to her. Go now with Srivanth. We will deal with these pesky interlopers. Go to the fleet and we will meet you at the rendezvous on Talidus. Captain Danor's sister turns and flees to the north without a backward glance. Congratulations, party gains experience. Lightning crackles around the cavern as huge dragons descend upon you. Oh, it's almost shame that she's going first. Although, there's no way that uh, Ald with uh, his uh, even hasted could get all the way over there and kill all of them, so I guess we'll help. Can we... How many of these guys can we get? Are there any more up there? No, there aren't. Okay. Eh, that's good. Oh, isn't even coming close to defeating all of them. <sighs> That's okay. We've got multiple delayed blast fireballs. Wee. Wee. Come on, old. Come on, old. Go next. <sighs> so much fun to slaughter dragons. Oh, it's so much fun. Only 4,000 experience points. We got more experience from the Oat Yugs and the Shambling Mounds than we got from six dragons. Six dragons. It's crazy. It's crazy. Well, I guess we head north then. There's no, nowhere else to go. You can see light coming from the north. You stand at an exit from the cave. A large blue dragon is perched on the ledge above you. It bends down to allow a rider to climb onto its back. Chrissia! Chrissia, wait! What are you doing? The young woman glares at you and mounts the dragon. The huge creature launches itself from the cliff and flies off toward the horizon. In a few seconds, it is only a speck. Captain Danor falls to his knees. I've lost her! I've lost my beloved sister! There's a trail here that leads back to the shore. Do you leave the cave? Yes. Climb down to the beach and return to the Silver Shark. Captain Danor speaks. My crew, Crucia, has been charmed and is flying across the ocean. We must find her and end the draconian threat. Hoist the anchor. We set sail for the continent of Talidus. I'm sure most of the crew is saying, what the fuck? What the hell is that? Where are we going? You're going to get us all killed. Congratulations, party gains experience. Woohoo! Danor quickly writes a message and plucks a pigeon from a cage. He whispers something into its ear as the bird snatches the paper and flies off. My carrier will deliver, the, deliver this message to the general. She will know what to do. My friends, would you like to rest now before our long journey? Yeah, that's probably a good idea. We'll get our spells back. And we can go ahead and save. And I think we'll end the video here. We'll pick it up uh, in the next episode as we sail across the sea to the continent of Talidus. See you next time!